So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. So here he is, folks, the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung challenged Jose Aldo for the UFC featherweight title back in 2013, then went on to do his mandatory military service with one of the more unforgettable performances you will ever see, a knockout of Dennis Bermudez in a main event in Houston, Texas that reestablished the Korean zombie as a UFC featherweight contender, a guy many believe eventually will be strapped with that UFC title. Chan Sung Jung, the Korean zombie, is a highly skilled mixed martial arts fighter. He has a very slick ground game, he has excellent striking, and his nickname came from his ability to withstand ridiculous amounts of punishment, but keep coming forward. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jung is one year his senior, Struve weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Smergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And we This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on 32 wins, 11 losses. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Beaver with the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on 14 wins, five losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Gun! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready? I'm very Ready? excited. Now, so Here we go. <laughs> Opens with the inside leg kick. How good is that jab by Stewart? Nice shot. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it. He's down. Working out of that southpaw stance. Well, Joe, you gotta follow the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. That one hurt. And he's looking for that left. Strew gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Slips. Oh, beautiful lead right hand. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. 
with the overhand choke. Effective punch there by Jung Jo. Struve gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, put them with the jab. Nice punch there by Chan Sung Jung. Good defense there. Avoiding the clinch here. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Struve gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Once again, establishing the jab here. Lands with the lead right. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Tags him. 20 seconds to go in round one. Look at that straight right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more moving. You can't wait on this guy, okay? Keep that. Let's take a look at it again here. Here we see a beautifully timed kick connects flush. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Incredible striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Here we are, early round two. All right, so here we go with round two. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge, right? A difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lance flush again. Good punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Oh, misses with oh, the jab. Oh, he got slipped there. He got him a little bit. He's rocked. Oh! Big shots! Huge kick oh. misses. He's trying to stay up. He is in big, oh. big trouble. Oh. Huge right oh. hand! This could be it right here. Man has his chin been tested early. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Constantly a moving target. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round, and picking up right where he left off here. The right hand just misses. How about that chin? Oh, beautiful kick there. Big yeah, these hook. are, what did you say about my mother punches? Oh. Kick. oh, he's rocked. Oh, he's getting tagged. Big body, body shot. shot body. Trying to spin to the back. 
under a minute to go. Beautiful body shot. shot there, too. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. This arm bar is very deep. He might be forced to tap here any second now. That's it. And that's it. We'll do it. Round's about to end. Sunk in that submission and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You can tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Joe. The Korean Zombie Chan Sung Jung, ladies.